Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. I'm standing here with none other than the Helianthus tuberosus, also known as the Sun Choke or Jerusalem Artichoke. As you can see, this patch is now towering at 12 feet tall. They just make a beautiful showy flower to have in the garden. Actually make a great cut flower too for displays. Now the bees are truly, and the bumblebees, are truly enjoying these flowers. So if you're familiar with this plant, you may have heard how it can become invasive. And I just want to tell you, I've been growing this for several years. My opinion on that is, if you're growing this in a controlled situation, like a backyard garden where you're doing regular maintenance, that's never going to become an issue. If you were growing this out in a field somewhere, never doing any harvesting or cutting back, then perhaps this is going to continue to grow out. And, you know, maybe that's what you actually want. I don't know. But... I would just say that I wouldn't worry about it if you're growing it in your backyard or front yard garden. I've got several different patches of these growing and some of the patches that I've grown in previous years where I harvested all the tubers, I got all the tubers and it didn't come back so I've had no issues with that. Another impressive fact about this plant is that it stores a high amount of carbohydrate in the form of inulin. So for those with type 2 diabetes, this is a safe plant to consume. So the edible part of the plant, the tuber, is harvested later in the season after the flowers die back. And those can be cooked and prepared like potatoes. They can be eaten raw and sliced thin, put on salads. They can be prepared in soups. And there's many different other applications. I know in Germany, they actually grow these and produce a brandy out of them. Another important fact to point out is that of all the different edible crops I have growing back here, and there's plenty, this is perhaps the most calorically dense and carbohydrate dense food that I have growing. Now that's very important for us gardeners, especially if you're looking to create more self-sufficiency in your life. So I've made a video in the past where I talked about the details of this plant and I showed me taking a harvest. So if you're interested, I'll put a link below this video so you can check that out. And with that, I just want to encourage you, if you're not yet doing so, to try your hand at growing some Jerusalem artichokes. Beautiful, edible, resilient, delicious, all the things you want in a food crop. That's it for now, everybody. Hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon. Mm.